For this weekend only, I think I should rebrand to Glow With Aid. <laughs> You guys, it is Project Glow Week. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going over the Project Glow set times and going over some of the sets I'm excited to see. I am going to Project Glow for the first time, so I'm super excited to check this out and get to see some of my East Coast fam and just vibe out. I had a little bit of a break from Groove Cruise. I was back in January, so this is my first festival of the festival season and the spring festival season. And I'm just really excited to kick it off. I've never been to DC before, and I'm just excited for a little bit of a smaller two-day easygoing festival. It's gonna be a good time. I get into DC on Friday, and I'm going with my friend Britta and like her squad. And then of course I have all my other friends going, like BB, Garrett, Emma, my friend Peyton. Like it's gonna be such a good crew, such good vibes. I'm super excited. So without further ado, let's get into it. I never did a lineup video for Project Glow, so this is kind of like my time to talk about the artists I'm excited about. Be so real with you guys, I kind of forgot who was on the lineup other than Tin Liquor, Elenium, and Lane 8. <laughs> <laughs> like I saw Lane 8, I saw Lenium, I saw Tim Liquor, I'm like, okay, ticket bought. It was kind of funny going into these set times being like, oh, this person's playing, oh, this person's playing. It was kind of a nice surprise. So kicking it off, let's get into it. Looks like the festival starts at 1 p.m. on Saturday. And I don't have any initial people that I am dying to see until Goodfella at 2.30. I had a couple of like his remixes saved. Like I've listened to him before on SoundCloud and he's been kind of having like a glow up and I feel like he's been getting put on by like Jaws more. Um, so I'm super excited to check him out. I think he is more in that house realm, but could also have some like bass house in there. So excited to check him out um, and see him. Then from there, I'll probably hang out at that stage Eternal and see Blossom, who I always love seeing. Blossom's my homegirl, who are both from Arizona. We went to the same college and yeah, it's been super cool to watch her journey. And I actually haven't seen her play in a while and she's been also dabbling more in drum and bass. So I'm curious to see if she's going to have some drum and bass elements to that set. So definitely we'll be checking her out then. And then after that, I have a little bit of a break. My friend Mac is gonna be doing a little candy meetup at four o'clock at one of the statues. So I definitely wanna go check that out. And I saw him post about that meetup and I definitely wanna go stop by, say hi. I'm not doing any meetups myself. I'm just going to other people's meetups. So that's definitely one of them that I wanna pop by. Um, but other than that, I'll probably just like spend some time exploring, you know, I don't have any specific artists at the secret garden stage that I want to see. So that could be a time where I could go check out what's going on at that stage. But Niels Hoffman is really great. Um, could pop by him. This could also be maybe time for food, you know, that kind of thing. Then after that, in that like five to six o'clock time spot, I definitely want to see Jero back to back Marsh. This is going to be some of that deep and melodic house vibes that I just love so much. And I love both of these artists separately. And I actually haven't seen them individually, but I am really excited to see what they do for a back to back and get a little vibe for that. Shipwreck is also really great. That's going to be more um, house, but more like disco lines kind of house and more like uppity house, tech house, I would say. Whereas Jero Back to Back Marsh is going to be very vibey and melodic and great. And then moving to that 630 time slot, I'm going to be staying and I'm going to be seeing Sultan and Shepard. They're doing a DJ set. They just came out with a new album. I don't think I've ever seen a full Sultan and Shepard set, to be honest. So I'm really excited for this set. Again, this is going to be very similar, like Lane 8 vibes, Deep House, Melodic House, This Never Happened kind of vibes. Um, so I'm very excited to see them. Dioro Back to Back Valentino Con, definitely going to be a high energy fun set, but I am going to definitely be at Sultan and Shepherd. And then going into the sunset time slot, there is Nora and Pure. She has a sunset time slot. And then we have Noc 2. And you guys, I've been a fan of Noc 2 for like the past three years, ever since he started having like his come up. I had one of his songs in my birthday mix back in like 2021. And I still have never seen him. I've just never had the chance to, never was able to maybe. And I'm definitely gonna be at that set because I've been dying to see him. I love all of his music, high energy, house music, like, base house it's just gonna be so good so i'm gonna see most of that set and then we are probably gonna go to nora and pure like the ending of her sunset set because that perfectly lines into tin liquor 
who like me and my friends, we just love tin liquor with all our heart, honestly. We grew such an emotional attachment to tin liquor at Electric Forest <laughs> that like, it's a must. We have to go see them and just like enjoy that and be all up in that. Res is on at the same time. I've seen Res so many times. I'm good on that. So we will definitely be at tin liquor. Derek Carter is also a really great choice to go check out. So like could even pop by there if I wanted to, but I will probably be locked in at Tin Liquor. And then it looks like there is, let's see, Tin Liquor plays till 9.30. And then there's a little bit of a break, a 15 minute break between Lane 8 and Elenium, but we're staying locked in and we're gonna be at Lane 8. And my friends might have to drag me out of that Lane 8 set because we do want to go see Elenium. But like, it's lane eight, you guys. We all know I love lane eight so much, but lane eight is playing at Lightning in a Bottle and I will be locked in for that set. So like, I'll get my little taste, get my little fix, see how like Daniel opens up that set. And then we will go to Elenium and end that night there. I knew that this conflict was going to happen because I just saw the way that they were kind of promoting it. And I'm like, they're literally gonna put Lane 8 and Elenium at the same time. But like pop off Lane 8 for closing out the festival and being in like that kind of headliner spot, I think is just really exciting and very proud of him, even though he does not know me. <laughs> so that is going to be day one vibes. Honestly, like I really like the duality of house music for myself personally. Like we got some bassy high energy house music mixed with like some vibey melodic house music. Like I'm going to get a feel for everything. And then we have Elenium as well, which I'm very curious to see how this Elenium set is going to be just because he is kind of in a little bit of like a changeover, um, given that he just wrapped his last tour. So very interested to see what he does with the set. But um, moving on to Sunday, Sunday, I think the first set I had was Miss Dre at 2.45. I saw a little bit of her set at Electric Forest last year. Really enjoyed that. So I might see a little bit of that, but depends on when we get to the festival. I'm sure we'll get there early, can like explore, bounce around, see some of the newer artists that are earlier in the day. Um, Telecast is also one that I've heard of, but I can't remember if I really vibe with their music or not, but it is house music. Um, I think they're more like high energy house music, I would say. And then after that, definitely want to go see Nostalgics. I haven't seen her in a while, so I'll probably see a little bit of that. And then Calusa, I have really been interested in. This is also like Tech House, and they have some releases on Higher Ground, which is Diplo's label, and I've really been liking a lot of their songs. Like, I just kind of put two and two together who that was, and I've really been liking their songs, so I feel like I will be at that set. And then we will go into Vanessa. I just recently saw San Pacho um, on Groove Cruise. So I think I'm going to stay for Vanessa and see her set. She's been killing it um, up until it's Murph. <clears throat> it's Murph has definitely been blowing up uh, on TikTok and getting more popular um, and viral. I would also put him similarly to like a disco lines as well in terms of house music. And it's so like, it's not tech house, I would say like, it's like if Lewis the Child made house music. Like it just has some of those like future bassy elements, but in house music, if that makes sense. Like that's how I see Disco Lines and It's Murph. Like it's not basic tech house, <laughs> but it is like really feel good house music. But it's, it's like hard to categorize what type of house music it is. But I kind of compare it to like if Lewis the Child made house music. That's the best way I can put it, honestly. <laughs> and then... I don't know if I'll check out LF System. They're kind of like a groovier house music type artist and I've been wanting to see them, but also like the other part of me wants to be shaking my butt to some Troy boy. So that is a maybe. LF System does have another set later on with Elderbrook. So maybe I'll split Elderbrook and LF System because I have seen Elderbrook a lot because I just, I would like to be a Troy boy, you know? And I'll probably see a good chunk of Troy boy, then I'm gonna bounce over to Hugel, see a little bit of Hugel. And then I don't think I'll do Set the Sky. I don't really feel called to go to that set. I am curious about this Aw Craze back-to-back -back wax motif set and just seeing how they like interact and collaborate. So I, I'm gonna check that out, but I, this could also be food time. <laughs> So we'll see about that. I've seen, I've heard from my friends that this festival is very easy to navigate. So like anything could really be up for change. Like if it's really easy to bounce back and forth. I also did get a VIP wristband and I noticed on the map that the VIP sections for those two stages are like in between, 
which Seismic Dance Event has done a similar setup before, like maybe two or three years ago, where VIP was connected between the tsunami stage and the frequency stage. Um, so I'm curious to see what that layout actually looks like, feels like, sound bleed, stuff like that. But I feel like that's going to make it really easy to navigate this festival. And after that, I'm not really interested in seeing two friends. I've never really gotten into them. And then Elderbrook, always great. Um, vibey, melodic house, he will sing probably. And then Elif System, I do want to check out. So I might split that. And then <laughs> me and my friends were all like, we're going to have, you know, our, our, our white girl live stream moment, you know, those girls on the live stream that are just all euphoric during like a Z set. That's good. That's going to be us. We're going to be white girl dancing, you know, the TikTok trend we're talking about. Um, and doing that to some Zed and just closing out there. I saw Zed, uh, electric zoo <laughs> last year with my friend Garrett and we had a great time like that's just always great for the vibes right and like one of my favorite songs ever of all time is clarity by Zed and I think I just need that moment you know um it's also really nice this festival ends early so like this ends at 11 o'clock um both nights which I think is great and like my flight is going out Monday morning um, not too early, but it is kind of nice. I don't think we're doing any of the after parties. We kind of just said like, and eh, we'll save the money because like Elenium was $70. <laughs> and I'm like, eh, like, I think I'm good on that, you know? So that is Project Glow. Nice, easy going little two day event. I'm really excited about it. If you're going, let me know. Oh, I forgot to mention, I will be at Rave Culture Cast Emma Capotis' meetup on Saturday. So stay tuned for that. I think she said she's going to do 5 p.m. and she'll post a spot. Just go look at Emma's Instagram and Rave Culture Cast Instagram for the meetup details, but I will be there. I won't be doing any other meetups or like work obligations. Honestly, this festival season truly is for me. It's my first single festival season in six years, you guys. And I've been going to festivals since 2015. So that's kind of crazy when you think about it that like, the first three years of my festival career, I was single and then like was in relationships, two back-to-back -back relationships. So I'm very excited for Project Glow and just the festival season ahead to really just have fun, do me, vibe out, make some memories with my friends and just have a great time. So it's gonna be a great weekend. If you see me, say hello, would love to see you. I will be at you know my friend Max meetup and then my friend Emma's meetup on Saturday and then we'll just be bouncing around. So feel free to say hi. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you're going. Let me know who you're excited to see. Thank you so much for tuning in and vibing with me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.